Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Hacksplain. Today we're going to have a look at the forged feedback vulnerability. And the description tells us, post some feedback in another user's name. And that sounds pretty simple to be honest. So let's check where we do have the feedback section of OSP2 Shop. And if we go up here to the side menu, there is a little item in here which says customer feedback. So that sounds promising. Let's use that for now. And in here we do say an author, anonymous, because we're not logged in, a comment box, a rating, and a little capture down below here. So we have to post a feedback in the name of somebody else and not as anonymous. So what we want to do at this point is have our burp suite ready to intercept this request and make sure to have your proxy set to burp and let's just use what we always do is we just use the regular functionality the way it comes or is intended to be used right so let's say we do have um, the need to send some customer feedback and uh, the comment should be if I type this correctly, hacks plain, and, and the rating is five stars, why not? Like, I think it's good. And then we have a little math problem over here. Three minus five is minus two, minus eight is minus 10. And what I'm going to do is I am going to set intercept to on. And let's submit that, and we see bird lighting up down below, and if we make this window a little smaller, we see we do have a capture ID, which is probably related to our capture over here. We do have the capture result minus 10. We do have my comment and we do have a rating. But there's not really an entry in here in our JSON, which says anything about a user, right? It doesn't even say anonymous or any sort of ID. But let's just forward that to our two shot. And what we're going to do next, so we see that this feedback went through successfully. I'm going to make this window a little bigger again. And if we check out the post request over here, we do see in the response that we got a status saying success. And we did get some more data. But for example, we, we do have an updated at entry in here and a created at entry in here. And we also have a user ID in here, and that is pretty interesting. And I want to show you something that I've shown you before, but just to point it out one more time, which is the OWASP API security project. So that is basically the OWASP top 10 for APIs. And what we're having over here is a mass assignment vulnerability, which basically says that if you use, for example, a JSON, you have to make sure that it is not guessable what properties there might be existing or by, for example, reading documentation, providing additional object properties in the payload. Because that would allow an attacker to modify the data in a way which he's not supposed to. So let's go back to O's Chew Shop. And if we go back to Burb, we see this user ID parameter. And the idea now would be to use that in my request. And if I send this to Burp Repeater, I could just say right over here, user, um, double quotes, user ID, I think it was called, and then send any value to it. But I want to show you something else that you always can do while playing around with an application. And that is using my beloved developer tools. So if you go to that form, the customer feedback form, and look at this whole piece, let me select the whole piece. We have the DOM right down below here. And we can just have a look at that and see if there's anything interesting in it. And if you look closely, there's a little line down below here which says user ID, some class name some some more metadata we we don't really care about right now but then there is this hidden tag over here which basically means that you cannot 
see the input box in the UI. So let's see what happens if I go over here and just delete that. And I hit enter and we do see the little input box popping up right over here. And I, for example, could say one, whatever. And I will close this and fill this out one more time. And then we'll just say ASDF. Uh, one plus five minus two is four. And I will use my interceptor one more time being turned on. And I will submit that. Burbs lighting up. And what we see over here is that now we are using the user ID JSON attribute because we were having it right in here. We've activated in the form, and now it's being sent by the web application itself. So those are basically two different ways to have a look at the web app and to figure out if there is a way to send the user ID parameter. And it doesn't really matter if you want to go it this way. So if we would forward this to G Shop or use that way by having it added to uh, our request and repeater, it would probably both work. I am just going ahead with that because that's the first try that I wanted to go with. User ID, I think it is called. Let me check that one more time. User ID, perfect. And I will just say one. And let me send this to the application. And we do see that we have created a new feedback. And let me check over here if that was working out fine. I will um, go ahead and drop that for now. And then reload this page. And we do see that we have successfully solved the challenge forge feedback. All right, this was it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new and please subscribe in the top right corner. Keep coming back to checking out this playlist. Have a great day.